Hi, my name is Natalie. I'm a seventh grade student here at Pinnacles Prep. Starting in the summer before our doors opened and while the campus was still under construction, we worked with some of our classmates to create a short documentary about the Painted Pathways project that was going to weave its way through our campus. And my name is Kian, also a seventh grader at Pinnacles. This is Maddie, Kai, and Abby, our film crew partners that we've worked with for the last couple of months. The Pathways Project was a collaboration with the longtime Wenatchee educator and professional artist Terry Valdez and media arts educator and Pinnacles Prep board member Rick Ray. I got involved with our project because I really like art and um, I really love videoing, working with the cameras, and hearing what the mural artists um, like to say. I hope as a result of this project is it entices kids to want to come to the school more. I want to be part of this project to, to learn more about the film crew or filmmaking and to learn more about the school. I'm part of this project because I wanted to learn more about how documentaries and films are made. I think the purpose of this project is to show other kids how they painted the pathways and murals. To start the project, Pinnacles hosted some summer community design sessions with students and parents to brainstorm ideas and sketch potential pathway designs. I think what I really enjoy about painting murals or being involved with murals is the collaboration, helping coordinate, get every all the logistics together and uh, getting the community behind it, whether it's a community of students or a neighborhood, uh, doesn't matter what age, but I've worked with middle school students, I've worked with high school students before, and then worked with younger people even. Terry Valdez also recruited a group of students to help lead the creative process and fine-tune the community ideas. Once Terry and the student art crew narrowed down the desired imagery, they pitched their ideas to the City Arts Council, seeking approval of the vision they hoped to paint on the parking lot. In addition to focusing on our own campus artwork, we sought inspiration from other local murals and the artists behind them. I think one of the great things about painting murals is you get to interact with people when you're making art. So pretty much all other art forms you're isolated in a studio um, or some place by yourself but when you're making murals you get to interact with the people who are going to be seeing your work on a daily basis. So you're getting first of all instant gratification because they're like oh we like what you're doing <laughs> which always feels good. But second of all, it just, it feels good to know that your art is serving somebody other than just yourself. Uh, I would say um, thinking local and really uh, taking time to do the research. Uh, many times, especially younger artists, don't realize how much research you have to put into something. So whether it's uh, like what Marlon, Marlon Peterson did with the, uh, the bird murals, he did a lot of research on birds that flew and migrated uh, seasonally to Mexico and back. So for me, depending what the theme is, um, like the art pathways, when we've been working on the art pathways here at Pinnacles Prep over on the parking lot, I really uh, took time, we really took time to listen to the community and the students. I think our artwork adds a lot of color and vibrancy to spaces that were previously pretty dull and drab. Yeah, and I've heard from, you know, I, I am a middle school teacher as well, and I heard from a lot of my students that they just love driving by because it makes them smile. So I think if we can bring smiles to people's faces, that's really meaningful. And then also if, in addition to that, if they pick up on the positive message that is the intention behind the mural, then that's even better because um, then we're kind of instilling positivity and togetherness. And then with other murals, like the ones in your school, um, yeah, we just hope to kind of make spaces as inspiring as they can be for people.
After Tara and the art crew received permission from the city, the next step was to teach the rest of the Pinnacles Prep scholars how to paint stencils on the parking lot asphalt. Terry did a presentation to the whole school to show the final stencil designs and how to apply the special parking lot paint. Then the fun got started and every student got to leave their mark. In addition to the students, the Pinnacles Prep Board of Trustees also contributed by launching their annual board retreat with a painting session. After the students and board members finished their creative work, the film crew was curious to know what the students thought about the pathways process in the final end product. Um, I want um, everybody to see like our murals and um, our pathway and um, I really want them to see how um, good Pinnacles Prep is and how awesome the students are and how we all work together. I hope that this project will demonstrate how creative and talented we are here at Pinnacles Prep. Uh, I think they're a cool way to show that like we were the original scholars here and like, yeah, I like them. I think it was a really good idea for all the scholars to work together, and, and, they're, and they're really pretty. <laughs> well, I think the project is a pretty good way to symbolize who we are and how it works. And it actually makes it look really pretty before it was just a big hunk of pavement and stuff. And it's just a beautiful addition that most schools don't have, which makes it unique and different from other schools. I really like them. I think they're very colorful and very characteristic. I think it looks pretty good. Every time I walk down the or up the pathway, um, it, I see something new. It's really fun. I think they're a really good addition to the school. And I really like how all the students got to participate in it. I like that it's a good way for the scholars to um, do something for the school. I think they're a great way for students to express their creativity. It was cool and fun. I think it's a good way to show the, the character in our school to the community. I think the art pathways are extremely creative and it's cool how we got new stencils and paints and how we figured out how to paint the awesome koi fish that everybody did. I think this is creative and also this is what makes the school really special. With some additional pathway space still available for paint, we're hoping the Pinnacle staff and some of the school's community partners get into the mix and leave their designs as well. For those students that had a creative spark ignited by the Painted Pathways project, we asked our professional muralist what advice they'd offer for aspiring young artists. So I would encourage uh, someone that wants to uh, explore the arts 
to really work on just drawing, sketching, doodling, whatever you want to call it. And it doesn't matter whether you're doing uh, cars, horses, dinosaurs, uh, landscapes from nature. It, it's all great. Just practice drawing. Yeah, anybody young or not who's interested in pursuing art as a passion or a career, um, just it's just time. Like art is a learnable skill. You can absolutely improve at it if you spend time drawing or painting or whatever your medium is, um, just even just a little bit every day. So my best advice would be if you're interested in pursuing art, do it and doodle in class. <laughs>